Welcome to my week 7 battle of the VDL. This week we are taking on my friend Record Man and the coach of the Sleeping Snorlaxes. Um, currently I am 4-2. He is 1-5. And, and I actually think uh, this battle is important for him because he can possibly make playoffs, I think, if he wins this battle um, within a certain like differential. Uh, this also would possibly push me up to second place, so it's also an important battle for me. Um, as you can see, his team on screen, it is Chiyu, Tapu Koko, Mega Glade, Rillaboom, Empoleon, Zygarde, Snorlax, Uxie, Weezing, Swirlix, and Tucannon. So, uh, first thing I noticed was Iron Valiant went in, especially with just two moves, Close Combat and Spirit Break, um, plus speed so that we outspeed, I believe, his entire team besides the Koko, uh, as, as long as they're all, like, if they're all scarfed or if any of them are Scarf, I should say. Um, and then Sword Stance Encore. Sword Stance to set up Encore to lock something and giving us an opportunity to set up. Uh, next we have Scizor, running it physically defensive like I do every other week. Uh, Bullet Punch U-Turn, Close Combat Roost. I needed Close Combat for the Snorlax and the Empoleon too. The Empoleon was uh, something that kind of walled the Scizor. And we got to just hope not to get Scald Burned from it. But other than that, uh, we're here to take hits from the Rillaboom and the Glade and the Zygarde. Next we have Rotom Heat. Heavy Duty Boots to ignore, you know, Stealth Rock set up by the Empoleon because it does that pretty easily. This is our dedicated Defogger. Uh, we also have Will-O-Wisp to burn, like, all the physical attackers. And then just Overheat and Bolt Switch hit um, his team all pretty good besides the Zygarde, which wouldn't want to take a burn. Next we have Meow Scarada. I gave it a Choice Scarf this week to be able to outspeed um, possible Choice Scarf Chiyu. Um, or, or any other choice scarfers. This thing hits very, very hard on the physical side. Um, Brick Break is for the Empoleon and the Snorlax, and if the Uxie brings screens. And then Flower Trick, Knock Off, U Turn are just pretty standard moves. Next, we have Slowbro. Uh, Scald, Ice Beam, Body Press, Teleport. Uh, teleport is just to get, you know, switching out initiative. Scald and Ice Beam hit the team very well besides Empoleon, which is why we have Body Press. Uh, fully physical, def physically defensive. I'm more worried uh, about things on the physical side because my final member, Claude Sire, handles the special attackers. Uh, even Chi Yu, it takes decently, and we can hit it with Stomping Tantrum. Uh, Poison Jab is there mainly for the Rillaboom, and then we just uh, have some spikes that we, they're there. Uh, I'm not going to necessarily try to set them up since I don't want hazards on my side. I'll be defogging more, but it, it, in case he doesn't have hazards, spikes are there to set them up on his side. Uh, all right, we're going to hop into the battle. Hope you enjoy. All right, here we are. I accidentally uh, loaded up the wrong team for him, but... Uh, he brought the Swirlix, which I didn't expect, and I think this is actually the first time he's brought the Swirlix all season. Um, I mean, I'm not too worried. We have Defog. We just gotta make sure Rotom doesn't die. Um, Suzor looks like a pretty good lead against everything not named Chiyu. Uh, I can also go Meow Scarada, since Meow Scarada would be faster than almost everything. I think we're gonna go Meow Scarada. I like that lead a lot here. Uh, I wanted to bring Zoroark this week, but it just, it didn't have a good matchup, especially with, like, the Snorlax. Snorlax walls special attackers very well. Even Rotom just doesn't do too much against it. Uh, he leads the Snorlax. Vortex's best mod. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, uh, Flower Trick has a good chance to 2 it KO here. Um, well, that doesn't... It doesn't say he has any HP investment. Okay, we're just going to U-turn out here. I, I don't want to stay in. We have uh, a pretty easy switch in to Slowbro here. I would want to go Scizor typically, but um, Fire Punch would hit both Meow Scarada and Scizor, so I'm not trying to risk that. Uh, that does 32%, uh, so that's just max HP then. Uh, it's a high roll. At least that's what you know, the calc's saying. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go Slowbro here. Just blitz off a body slam. Paralyzes me, which is, it's all right. Um, hopefully that, that doesn't cause issues. We're, I'm going to let off a body press here. Does a lot of damage. Oh, yeah, it does a ton. Um, I kind of want to predict just a rest here. Um, I'm going to teleport. I think just, it's just safer. I want to go, okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's, that's very unfortunate. I'm going to just try to let another one go. 
Okay, that's fine. That's actually perfect, as long as the teleport works here. That's so bad. I literally said as long as the para doesn't come. Wow. Okay. Okay, we're going to go Rotom here. I said I can't let Rotom die, right? But, you know, I'm in a really bad situation here. So we're going to burn this to try to force it to rest. If I can get Iron Valiant in and Encore this into a move, that's why I needed that um, that teleport to go off there on Slowbro, was so that I could get into Valiant and Encore it into either Rest or, or whatever, um, which would then give Valiant a chance to, to set up and just go to town on the team. But, you know, here we are. All right, we land the Will-O-Wisp. He curses. I'm going to... Hey, I'm going to Volt Switch out into Slowbro here. He curses again. All right, let the teleport fucking work here. Thank you. Uh, we don't know last move. Could be Fire Punch. I'm trying to just figure out this thing's move set. It has to be Fire Punch, right? This is how we're going to find out. Heat Crash. That's kind of crazy. Okay. He rests. And we teleport out. Okay. I'm going to Sword Stance up here. No need to Encore. He has two guaranteed sleep turns. Uh, probably Focus Ash on this, right? Okay, that's fine. If I tear a fairy here, so that did how much? That did 39%. Give me a second. Let's figure out that kind of damage here. Yeah, with that special, yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna sword stance again here. Do I just sword? Do I? I'm trying to like think if it's worth. I think I do. Because the special attack drop on top of Terra Fairy. Oh, we're going to Encore now. All right, we are max set up. Holy crap, I turned this around. This might this might work. Okay. I was getting a little worried there, but uh This this got flipped real quick. He might have like Shadow Sneak on Glade. That's a possibility. I didn't expect to have a Valiant going in this early. Uh, definitely wanted to save this for the late game, but that's, it's just how it played out. Yeah, so the only things that can stop this right now are Scarf Coco and Sneak Gallade. And considering he's... He said total GG. Really? Really? Oh, wow. Okay, I guess he he's saying that he... Uh, he said total GG, so I guess that's it. He has nothing to... To counter this. Wow, that's, that Snorlax gave me a scare. He says he's pretty sure he loses to this. I'm just going to say, you never know, you know? You know, I, I, I would hate to just, like, forfeit a match and then, like, something actually lives. But he might be right. Like, like I said, I think those are the only two situations in which he uh, comes back. Wow, why is it that the, my two friends, the two people I was the most excited to battle, 
um, which is Record Man and T Prime. I, I swept them. That's crazy. Valiant finally doing something this season, though. Valiant has been... It's been alright. Like, don't get me wrong. I've really liked Valiant as a Pokemon. Um, it's just been a little underwhelming. But it just 6 would um, The Encore set is just... It's so good. It's, it's my favorite set on that. Um, GG to Tyler. Uh, I really wish that that battle had been a little more close. But that, that Snorlax scared the crap out of me. If I didn't have Encore... Um, it could have went a lot differently. Um, all right. Well, if you guys enjoy it, leave a like. Um, there might not be a VDL battle next week because if I hit second place, I get a bye week. Um, I'll have an update video for playoffs. So, But there might not be a battle is what I'm saying. But, uh, yeah, see you guys all later. Goodbye.